Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Shadow Hearts. So in the previous episode, um, we had a very long like weird cutscene. So if you want to watch that, <laughs> go back and watch the previous um, video. But yeah, so at the moment we're trying to break the curse which is being put on Alice by the ghost Lily. And we've been joined by Zuzen. So Zuzen says, hmm, if just as I expected, this is the mark that's summoning all the spectres. Yuri, if we get rid of this, the monsters disappear, right? Alright, let me add it. What are you expecting to do? Just like attack it or something? Oh, we do get attacked. <laughs> um, so I think, if I remember correctly, I think this boss is strong against physical attacks. It's a weird looking boss, it's got like a lampshade on his head. But, um... Yeah, so, because we uh, don't have Alice here, who's normally like the healer, we are going to use um, Yuri as our healer, because he gets Moon Howl, which restores some of the target's uh, HP. But first, I'm going to use... Should I use that? No, nah, maybe I won't. I think I'm just going to defend um, with Yuri. I'm just going to treat him like Alice. I won't be as mean to him as I am to Alice, but um, just <laughs> battle-wise. Yeah, and then we're just going to throw grenades at this uh, this weird monster over and over again until it eventually dies. So it's good that he's attacking Yuri actually because he was blocking anyway, so it shouldn't do too much damage. So with Zuzen, we're just going to use the uh, the flame dance over and over again. Try and get some perfects because it does make a big difference. Makes the, the fight a lot shorter. I think I remember this being kind of a bit of a long fight, so hopefully we can do our best to to make it go a bit quicker. Got to keep an eye on those sanity points as well. Don't have to be as uh, rigorous as when you've got Alice in your party because Alice has really low sanity yeah, points. So she goes insane really easily, but uh, these guys aren't so bad, so. What are you going to do with flying stones? So I guess it's like earth element. Um, which I think kind of makes sense that it's strong against physical attacks. I mean, Yuri uh, in his like earth fusion form, which is what he's in now, he has the, the ability to boost his physical defense. So I guess it's just like part of the... Um, you know, like the element's strength is like physical defense and stuff. So we'll just heal Zizen. Because, you know, he got like a bit hurt there. And then just continue to throw grenades. Oh no. I want to get perfect at least once. Um, I was thinking before yeah, that you can kind of... I guess this is like set, you know, kind of in the past anyway, but I love how she just has like a giant pink telephone, which is I guess is meant to be like a mobile phone, but it's <laughs> it's really big. Um, so let's just heal Susan again. The shockwave attack that this boss does is annoying because it hits everyone, and I don't have a healing ability that heals everyone yet. You do get them later, I think, with Yuri's uh, light fusion or like one of them because you have um, multiple of each element I think you can get like three of each um, his light element has a like AOE heal I guess you would call it like area of effect um, that heals the whole party which is really useful for later fights anyway it doesn't really matter so much early on but with the later fights it's, it's pretty useful so I'm doing pretty badly with getting the, yeah, the hit areas. I'm kind of playing it quite safe because if you miss, then it's just, you know, you miss all the damage. So I'm kind of just playing it safe, really. So just going to use Shockwave again. Um, so I'll heal Margaret this turn, I think. And hopefully the boss won't... Um, attack Yuri next because he's quite low on HP now. But I always kind of feel like Yuri can take a bit more of a beating. He seems to be a bit stronger than the others generally. Ah, oh, yes, I managed to get perfect, that's good. 
Yeah, I could use some help here. So it's just gonna just throw the grenade. I, it's so it's weird that it's like purple explosion, right? I mean, that's not what grenades look like when they explode in real life, do they? Because if they did, that's kind of cool. So just keep using the ogre, flame dance, and grenades, and eventually it'll die. It'll just take a very long time. It's gonna use shockwave again. Ugh. Use something else. Use flying stones. That ability is rubbish. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. I'll heal Zuzen. Margaret's low on MP as well, so she's not gonna be able to use a grenade this turn anyway. So I'll get her to use like a healing leaf on on Yuri this turn. Um. Yes. Use that on Yuri. Oh, I didn't manage to get perfect. So if you get perfects on the items, it just boosts the effect that the item does, which is really useful because it saves you money. And if you're in a bit of like a dire situation, you'd like the, um, the item to kind of extra effect. It's useful. But we will just keep on going here. I find it a lot easier to get perfect with Suzanne's flame dance for some reason. I don't know why. I suppose it's got like a big hit area, so it's kind of easier. Ah, oh, it's nearly dead, that's good. So, let's heal you. And then, I have to think about restoring Margaret's MP, because she can't really do anything at the moment. And sanity points. Ah, oh, her sanity points aren't so bad at the moment. But I have to keep an eye on them, because they're getting a bit low. 3 out of 10. It's a bit low. Using Shockwave again. Use something else. Shockwave is so annoying. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. Oh, I can't use an MP as well. Um, okay. Well, I'll just use use the MP Leaf. It's only really Margaret that's kind of low on, on uh, HP anyway. So maybe she can just heal herself. Ah, oh, didn't get a perfect on that one. But the boss is dancing around, so it must nearly be dead. Can't be too far off. Um, so, uh, what should I do? Let's just heal you, just in case. I'm worried it's gonna like physically attack someone this round, in which case they might die. Um, oh no, flying stones. That should be okay. Oh no. <laughs> the one person it couldn't hit. That's okay though, I've got some talismans and stuff so I can just use it. On to Zen. And then Margaret, you're gonna go insane soon, so you need a, a pure leaf. Should I attack with him? Uh, mm, I don't know, uh, no, I'll, I'll play it safe. I'll use a healing item on him. Um, and then you are about to go insane, so we use a pure leaf on you. The, the battles, like longer battles tend to go in this kind of format where at the beginning you can like do a lot of attacks and um, you know make a lot of progress and then when everyone's HP and MP and SP start getting low after a few rounds, you have to like spend a couple of rounds just like getting everyone back up to high levels, and then you can continue just attacking like normal. So hopefully this won't just kill Suzanne again. He is like really weak, but no, it's fine. That's good. He managed to just survive. Um, so you use a grenade, and hopefully the stupid bird thing will die soon. I think I had trouble with this boss the last time I played this. I think I've always had trouble with this boss whenever I played it. It's, it's kind of like the first real kind of difficult boss that you face. Um, I think it's more difficult than the next boss actually, but I can't quite remember. It's been like a long time since I played this game. So we will see, but I, I this boss always like sticks in my memory more than like the next boss. I mean, I remember what the next boss is, but oh yeah, it died. 
Um, but yeah, but I just remember this being more, more difficult. It's just gonna explode into triangles, which is good. And hopefully someone will level up. Uh, Margaret leveled up. Okay, that's fair enough. And we've got some earth energy, earth soul energy, whatever it is. Um, so... Does that mean the thing is gone now? Is it gone? Yes, maybe, no, maybe. Yes, so I uh, wonder why this village was targeted by evil spirits in the first place. For generations, the villagers have worshipped the blue dragon at an undersea shrine just offshore. A month ago, lightning struck and the dragon was sealed away. As a result, Lily became a ghost. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. It does. It's like what happened with the, the cannibal place. It's like what happened at Zhao Yang, isn't it? Was that the cannibal place? I guess it was. I don't remember the name. Which means, Mr. Smarty Sage, you know who the big boss is, right? Wait, we were attacked in Feintian too. It's that old geezer, Dehua, isn't it? I think so. Oh, you've already met him, have you? Well, we met the dog. That was him, apparently. <laughs> uh, at any rate, you are correct. He plays Puppet Master from his tower in Shanghai. He is attempting to gain control over the entire continent by using his Taoist magic in forbidden ways. Oh, creepy. Uh, what does Dehuai want from us? He wants Alice. He can have her. We don't mind. She's annoying anyway. <laughs> uh, in any case, you've successfully broken the spell that was cast over this village. Let's go back to the restaurant from before. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Whee! Uh, so I'll use a tent first, I guess, because... Um... I don't want, like, to forget to heal everyone, basically. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, it's like Malice okay? I think it's okay. Um, I don't really know, like, when to leave it till sometimes, because, like, um, obviously the longer you leave it, the harder the enemy you have to face, but it's, like, annoying if you have to, like, go back and do it every time. Um, so we'll just leave it for now. It's blue. Blue is fine, I think. So Alice is better. Oh, that's great for everyone, I guess. Oh, Yuri, everybody, you're back. Ah, you've recovered. Oh, and see, Mother, I don't think Dalian will be having any more ghost trouble. However, the fact that Lily herself did not appear does concern me. We are indebted to you. On behalf of everyone in this village, I thank you. Oh, thank you, that's fine. Uh, don't mention it. But, you know, I feel like some sort of karmic bond brought us all together here. <sighs> you said that before at the cannibal place. Will you listen to what I've got to say? Oh, sorry, will ya listen to what I've got to say? <laughs> sure. Go for it. Oh, don't go all formal on us, just spill the beans. <laughs> well, we have the Black Tortoise of the North and the Blue Dragon of the East. They're the two of the four gods of directions. Someone is trying to seal them away to further his own evil ends. Dehuai? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the most important part. The villainous Dehuai. I'm probably saying that name wrong, but, you know... I don't know. <laughs> He's after you, Alice! Oh no! Yeah, you were saying that before too, but why is he after Alice? I don't get it. <laughs> or hey, maybe this Dehua guy is just some sick old perv with a Lolita complex. <laughs> oh, Margaret's so funny. Now, now. Well, Alice, is there something you can tell us about this? Yeah, you freak. <laughs> I actually, I don't know anything at all about this man named Dehuai. Except when Bacon murdered my father. 
Oh, your father was murdered by bacon. Um, in France, a month ago, the last thing he said to me was, there are dark warlocks trying to bring about the valorization. I won't let them make you their key. <laughs> Oh, bacon. Alice, a key? You're no ordinary demon eyes, girl. The star within you shines far brighter than that. Sea mother. Just what do you know? You're just crazy. <laughs> Lily's power was nothing compared to yours. I'm not surprised there are warlocks seeking to abuse it. Your father gave his life to protect you from them, correct? She's like, yes. Yes, and in the end, he sent me far away. He used up the very last of his strength to keep me safe. What? So you've got to keep running forever and ever? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Suzanne. We could always make for Shanghai and go after Dehua ourselves. What say you? It's very uh, optimistic and brave, I guess. Master Suzanne, if Dehua is preparing another valorization, we don't know what that is. Explain. Indeed, it would mean a repeat performance of the nightmare we lived through 15 years ago. <gasps> what happened 15 years ago? The nightmare 15 years ago, the valorization? It's a ritual that in effect turns the entire world upside down. Like, literally, like, people just fly into the air or I don't know. Um, Dehua attempted the valorization once before. Countless people lost their lives in the catastrophic earthquakes and disasters that followed. 15 years ago, huh? So this valorization didn't work. Ha, you must be joking. If he'd succeeded, it would have meant the end of the world. As I recall, a certain man stood in Dehuai's way and gave his life to stop the process of the valorization. Having lost half his body in that battle, oh, so that's why Dehuai has the weird hand. Um, Dehuai went underground, but now he's plotting his comeback. Yes, plotting secretly to carry out the valorization rite known as the Demon's Gate Invocation! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Demon's Gate Invocation? So if we don't, like, stop it, this battle will go on forever, right? I like it, I say we go to Shanghai. Yeah, let's go to Shanghai. I want, I want to keep, I want to go to Shanghai too. I can't keep running like this forever. Not if confronting Dehuai will help me understand why my father died. You're all going? Hmm, this means I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Sigh. Guess I'm in this thing with you then. But how are we going to get to Shanghai? If we go over land, the Japanese army will catch us at a checkpoint for sure. And I've had enough flying. <laughs> Poor Margaret. Uh, you can use my boat, random female voice. <gasps> Smuggler boss. Evening, everybody. Hey, were you eavesdropping on us? I don't mean to, I just happened to overhear. I didn't expect to get into ports this late, you see. There was some big fuss going on about monsters. It was all I could do to protect my goods. Oh, and what business are you in, miss? It does seem rather late for honest traders to be out and about. Teehee. The same could be said of you, no? At any rate, I'm a courier. Of course, courier is a bit euphemistic. To put it bluntly, I'm a smuggler. <laughs> uh, based on what I overheard, you're looking for a way into Shanghai. And that means sneaking past the Japanese army, right? That is correct. Heh. <laughs> no need for explanations, I guess. So, you got a boat? Yes, but it's old. The army thinks it's a fishing boat, and they let it right through the checkpoints. They never guess there might be contraband under the floorboards, even if it's a human. Hmm, I don't know how comfortable I am with this, but what would you ask in return? You tell me, you could say I'm a little short on cash. Um, we don't have any money though. Alright, it's a deal. 
Excellent, I'll go ahead to the boat to make your preparations and meet me there at first light. <gasps> She's creepy. Creepy, creepy woman. We know who she is though. It's no secret to us. Uh, I don't like this and I don't like her. <laughs> Margaret, you don't like any, any other women. Don't fret, you'll find people making a living slipping under the eye of the law anywhere you go. Is that the kind of person you think that woman is? Most likely, besides, do you have any better ideas? Dot, 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 dot. Um, yes, you should call it a night and get some rest at the inn. Okay. See, Mother has a point. Let's be going. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Margaret's just silent all of a sudden. So, have a nice sleep. Nice long sleep. Ugh. Morning already? At least we've got a little rest. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a nice sleep then. Hmm, where are the other kids? You're finally up, huh, kid? <laughs> Margaret's already left. Now, this is the most important part, the villainous death you eye. Oh, shut up. You're dead asleep. <laughs> oh. Yuri, let's get going. Yes, let's. Um... So, I think if I remember correctly, um, oh, the character's disappeared again. I'm not going to bother changing it. Let's come forward. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe I can just move the overlay. Yeah, okay, that kind of works. It's a bit weird. Uh, so this game is kind of a bit glitchy, but anyway. Well, well, customers, we've got good stuff, so take a look around. Okay. So I had a better weapon for um, Susan, so I'm going to buy that, try and get discount. Okay, good. So get it a bit cheaper, which is nice. I think, uh, should I get like a leather vest for, um, for Zuzen? I guess so. I have like quite a bit of money, so I might as well just buy all the upgrades. And then I could do have some more items, actually. I don't, I don't know where I can buy items around here. But, uh, can I like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you have to come back like another time to get that chest, but I don't really remember. Um, so, do you sell items? No, you don't. Um, was it the guy in the restaurant that had the items? Fishermen have it best. The little city slickers just don't know. Maybe here's a good place to settle. So it's the um, acupuncture man. Please. So I might as well um, increase some items, maybe. Um, there's no point doing Suzanne or Alice because they don't really physically attack with anything anyway. So I might as well just use um, do Yuri's one. Yeah, and I'll do attack and hit area. Let's do it, Yuri. <laughs> um, so, Yuri's gone berserk. Alrighty, it's all done. Okay. Um, can I, like, reset and get the money back? No, okay. <clears throat> so, the knuckle blade is, like, a bit better. Should I upgrade it again? How much is it going to be? Um, well, I guess I could do... Maybe I will, yeah, go for it. I might as well, because Yuri, you know, he always does like good damage and stuff, so it's worth investing some money into his uh, weapon. So let's uh, go to the restaurant. Let's talk to these people actually and see whether they're happy. Oh, you can dry a fish. <laughs> the poor fish drying woman, she was so sad. Would you bring this to see mother for me? She loves fish, so you might receive something in return. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't know where she is though. Maybe she's at the restaurant still. I want to hurry and grow up so I can be a fisherman too. Um, okay, they tell me that you're the ones who got rid of the evil spirits for us. Wow, I underestimated you. I thought it was going to be like, have this item or something, but no. Don't give me anything. 
The ghosts are gone. I guess this means people are going to come crowding into port again. I guess so. Uh, hey, sea mother. I got some fish for you. Greetings, friends. Did you get some rest? Leaving already? Be careful out there. The spirits are gone from the harbour, but they still roam the ocean. I will pray for your safety. Oh, is this fish for me? Thank you. This is my favourite. I'll tell you something. A man who died from Lily's curse left a strange message. It's about where he kept an extra stash of money. I didn't look into it too much, but maybe you'd find something useful. I don't understand what he means. He said, where the turtle looks, take three steps. What does that mean? Uh, turtle, turtle. Is it like the turtle man? Welcome to the sea turtle. We can never repay you for what you've done for Ash. Wanna buy something? Yes, I do. Um, do, 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 do. Let's get the leather. Let's get another leather cap for. Do I want leather cap? Or. Yeah. Get leather cap for. Um, I'll get two. If people want them, they can have them. It's good for defence. So I've got two of those. Um, Casual belt, raise tap power, don't really need one of those. Poison, confusion, paralysis, blah blah blah. Um, I might get another one of these. I think the next boss uses a lot of poison attacks. I can't quite remember. So it's good to get some of these because then it just means they don't do any damage. Um, <laughs> that guy in the background is just walking into the boxes over and over again. So, let's... You don't have any, any accessories. Um, so let's give you that. Uh, the poison thing. And a leather belt, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and do you... Did I equip... No. Equip his new weapon. So he's got that, that, that. Oh, and the leather vest as well. I forgot to equip that. Okay. Um, so should I try and find the money? It was like where the turtle looks. Take three steps. One, two, three. Maybe it's like the restaurant or something. I have a feeling it's where this man is. Maybe? Is it like in here? One, two, three. Is it like around here? I'm just gonna like <gasps> mash, mash the buttons. I used to know where the, the secret money was, but I don't remember where it is now. Oh. oh, oh, I thought I was in like the turtle field. I have a feeling it might be in here. Um, yeah. Um. You just run around, don't you, and like get stuff. So I think I just go like one, two, three, um, and like try and get the. Da, da, things. Did I get money? Ah, oh, that's lame. <laughs> I don't want the pure leaf. Okay, let's try again. Um, so it was like three. One, two, three. No. So from where he's looking, I guess. One, two, three. Three. It's like somewhere around here. Uh, here? Maybe? <laughs> oh, man. I missed. Hmm, nothing. Um, from this man. One, two, three. Maybe it's just here, but that seems too close. Here? That seems too far. Um, maybe I'll just try here. That's good, I actually hit it that time. <laughs> Um, money? 
No, oh, I'm underneath. Who cares? No, I won't do it again. Um, okay, I'm just not gonna bother. It's only money anyway. I can just get more money some more time. I don't wanna just keep on doing freighters. Hey, peddler. Um, so I can see how many steps I've taken. So 380. So I can get a voodoo doll. Probably what I'm gonna do though is just uh, see if I can get like the max, maximum one. Cause I bet you get like a good item. Um, do 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 do. I still think about her whenever I see the ocean. Oh, you love Lily. You love the ocean. Okay. Anyway, I think before I carry on, I'm gonna call this uh, the end of the episode. <laughs> It's been kind of a long one, just been rambling on for ages, but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did enjoy it just leave a like or a comment or subscribe even if you want to um, and I will see you next time where we will see what happens with this mysterious smuggler boss and her old boat and see if we can actually get to uh, Shanghai.